Good morning, everybody. This one's a little controversial, but I'll just say it because I have my freedom of speech. Um, I don't actually think the pink tax is, like, discrimination. You know, I think it's just smart marketing. Now, when I say the pink tax, I'm not talking about, like, you know, putting taxes on, like, tampons and stuff. Like, if there's no taxes on uh, toilet paper, then I think you should probably treat, like, tampons and pads and stuff the same. But what I'm talking about is if, like, if there's a razor, let's say, that's marketed towards men, and it's in the color black or the color green or the color blue, whatever, but then there's one that's marketed for women, and it's in the color pink, you know, and it says four women on it and it has like flowers on it and the packaging or whatever. If you're willing to pay more money for that, then honestly, I think that's just you. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, you could, you, you could definitely use a men's razor. There's nothing wrong with the men's razor that you can't use it. Now, it'd be different if there was like some kind of life-saving medicine or something that, you know, a man could only take, or a male, let's say, a male could only take the male one, and a female could only take the female one, and they both cost the same amount to produce, but we just make the woman's more for no reason, and that's ridiculous, you know? But if you're willing to pay more money just to have your stuff marketed in pink, and say for women, and look more girly, then that's fine, because honestly, sometimes I might even do it too, depending on what it was, you know? Sometimes I like to be like, you know what, I want this to be pink, and I want this, and the reason why I think it's fine is because there's nothing wrong with using a men's razor. Like, there's 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 literally no reason that uh, you would have to have a razor that's marketed towards women. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if that's what you want, then fine. But if a brand realizes that they can make more money because people will pay for that, then that I think that's just good marketing. I don't know. If you feel so inclined, I think you can boycott brands that have this mentality and whatever. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. Not gonna lie. So. And a lot of people only see it with, like, the women, but I think it also goes both ways. Just in the sense that, uh, like, I, I work at uh, Dollar Tree, and today I had to uh, stock stuff, and it was, like, a uh, hair dye for men. But it's, like, men and women both have hair, so why does it have to be specifically for men? Like, yes, I understand with a man, you know, it might be more so, you know, you're trying to dye your beard or whatever, but we both have hair the same, you know? Why, why should the boxes be different just so you can see a man on the box? Obviously, at the Dollar Tree, everything's the same price for the most part, so I can't really speak on, you know, how the price would compare. But I think just as people, we need to get over, you know, uh, how things are marketed and blah, 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 blah. And just buy it. If you want to buy it, just buy it. I, I think it's just smart, you know. You would do it too for a check.